because I'm very fortunate. My, my uh, next door neighbor at the Mellon Center is um, Dr. Alex Ray Grant, who led the American Academy of Neurology screening guidelines for the MS patients. Um, and what they recommended was screening for depression. So um, at the Mellon Center, we've chosen to utilize the PHQ-9. And so in every neurology appointment, every psychology appointment that a person comes into the Mellon Center, they are screened utilizing the PHQ-9. Um, this is all done via a, um, a little iPad, and then that's uploaded directly into the patient's medical record where the provider is then able to see immediately what the person scored. And if a person has scored in the moderate to severe range of depression, um, they, the provider has the ability to then send a consult immediately to our behavioral medicine team. And again, I recognize that we are very privileged because we do have behavioral medicine in our practice. Um, but I, I also believe that these screenings, it's a nine item questionnaire, it's free. Um, and it's very easy to put into um, the intake process of a neurology practice. And so my recommendation is to follow the American Academy of Neurology and to screen for depression. Sleep disorders are also high in the MS population. And again, that can be from a number of different reasons. Um, I saw a statistic that we presented yesterday that sleep disorders are occurring in 54% of the patient population. That is being addressed by us. Um, so we are fortunate because we have a sleep disorder center that is, you know, uh, that we collaborate with and at Cleveland Clinic. And our fellows are duly trained in both sleep disorders and MS care. Um, and so our fellows have that training as well as myself, um, and we're able to provide treatment for our patients from a CBTI model. One of the things that we've recently um, implemented at the Mellon Center is a group for. Um, it's for sleep and fatigue in the MS population. So it's specific to our MS patients and we are um, helping them to manage their, their sleep difficulties.